Well, uh, summing up, the third day of the second test match of the Dutch Bangla Bank Test Series between Bangladesh and New Zealand here at the Sherry Bangla National Cricket Stadium. Grant Elliott alongside Bangladesh at the moment in their second innings, 38 for two with a lead of just 30 runs. At least we got some cricket. Yeah, there was some cricket and uh, just like the rain has been falling, wickets fell again on day three. There were a lot of wickets, but Pakistan, uh, sorry, Bangladesh there, 38 for two. And uh, New Zealand will be happy with the position that they're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah! The wickets spin again. Ajaz Patel initially against uh, the right-handed batter, Mahmoudullah Sanjoy, uh, was just fetching out. Did not play, uh, did not go to the pitch of the ball, so there was a gap and good catch taken on second attempt by Daryl Mitchell. Oh, there was turn, there was bounce. Ajaz Patel was on fire from over one, and I think that that's something that you know, New Zealand probably haven't prided themselves on in this test series, but they've done it here in Murpur. And that was Saudi. It was actually quite an aggressive over to uh, Shanto. And uh, he wrapped him on the gloves. He was bowling the back of a length where it was bouncing. There was variable bounce. And then unfortunately for Bangladesh, losing their captain. Uh, just before the light uh, sent us off the field. Yeah, wickets apiece for uh, Ajaz Patel and Tim Saudi. So split between a spinner and a seam bowler. The, today, you know, when Bangladesh came into bat, Saudi opted for uh, spin from both ends. Uh, would you have done the same or just, uh, you know, gone for... You, you mentioned variable bounce, right? Uneven bounce. We've seen even when uh, uh, New Zealand were batting, Nur Hassan Shohan takes some around his neck and then some falling short. And the same uh, with the New Zealand keeper. Yeah, I mean, there, there is variable bounce. It's tough batting conditions, it really is. But what I will say is I think Tim Saudi has captained brilliantly because speaking to Tommy Mikbal, who was in the commentary box the other day, I, I spoke to him and I said, you know, what do you do? Do you actually bowl the seamers um, or do you bowl the spin? And he said, you should bowl the spin early on with the new ball because there's more bounce, more bite. And that's exactly what Tim Southey's done. So I think Tim Southey has captained it perfectly, bringing himself on at an opportune time where actually there was a bit of variation for him as well. And, and to be fair, I think Bangladesh have done the same. They've brought on Shoreful and it's always sort of paid dividends. So both captains in this series, I think, have been excellent. Yeah, absolutely. And then when right before this, uh, when New Zealand batted, they just uh, managed a lead of eight runs. But what an innings by Glenn Phillips. It was fantastic. Yeah, Glenn Phillips, he batted with uh, aggression. He had intent. He had a game plan. And I think that, you know, he showed you the way that you need to bat. So it's going to be a very exciting test match going forward because a lot of batters will take a leaf out of his book and go, right, if I need to succeed on this wicket, I'm going to have to play an aggressive brand but be selective on the shots that I play. Yeah, he batted really, really well. Uh, the scorecard is right up there for you. Bangladesh batting first, 172. Uh, the spinners getting the wickets. Phillips, three. Sandner, three. In response, New Zealand getting 180. Uh, courtesy of that innings, we just mentioned Glenn Phillips, 87 of 72. Yes, it is a test match, but uh, they managed a lead of eight runs. And in response, Bangladesh coming back to bat for the second innings. They have lost two wickets already. The skipper is already back in the hut also. And the two wickets, as uh, we just saw, are between Saudi and Ajaz Patel. Well, just a 30-run lead and uh, this test match, I mean, it's exciting. We're on the edge of our seats commentating because it just feels like every delivery, something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. The batters have to make the play and the bowlers have to try and settle in on that length to make it difficult for them. So, mm. more exciting test cricket to come. Yeah, well, we still have two more days to go. Till now, it has been play, fast forward and pause. For today, we're going to pause, but we're going to come back and resume tomorrow again. See you.